Have you ever been in a situation where you're trying to build a project but are still waiting on sensors that haven't even left the warehouse yet? Well, did you know you could use your smartphone for those tasks? Your smartphone is home to several sensors and with the MATLAB mobile app, you can use some of those sensors to collect and analyze data. As a simple example in this video, I'm going to show you how to acquire an image to perform image processing and acquire position data to calculate some distance travel. The MATLAB mobile app can be downloaded directly from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store for free. Let's switch over to the MATLAB mobile app on the iPhone. You can access the camera to take an image or a video either programmatically or manually. I'm going to show you how to take an image manually and then use that image programmatically later in the video. To access the camera, just click on the file section in the left menu and click the plus sign in the top right corner. As you can see, I'm standing outside the MATLAB's headquarters on a cloudy afternoon. Using the camera on the MATLAB mobile app is easy and intuitive just like you would in most other applications. Now that I've taken the image, it's being uploaded to MATLAB Drive, which is where I will sync all my files and my data. The image was uploaded as a JPEG with a name that was auto-generated. Since I'm going to be using this image, I need it to be something meaningful. Let's rename it to be test img. Okay, let's go back to the command window and actually start writing some code. Let's see what the image looks like. I'm going to use imread, which is an inbuilt MATLAB function, and then use imshow to actually see the image. Now that we've taken the image, your next obvious question would be, well, what can I do with this? Well, you can write your own scripts or you can use inbuilt MATLAB functions to do your analysis. I'm going to be using the inbuilt MATLAB edge detection function to find edges in this image. First, I'm going to convert the RGB image to grayscale and then use the edge function to get the edges in this image. And voila, it was very easy to use my phone to acquire an image and perform some quick image processing. Now, if you want, you can convert all the commands into a script so you can use it anytime, whether it's on your phone or your desktop or laptop. The technology that makes this possible is MATLAB Drive, which is where you're syncing all your files and your data. This is gonna be helpful later in the video. All right, as I promised, let's see what other sensors you can use with the MATLAB mobile app. You can access the other sensors using the sensor menu within the app. You can log data from all available sensors or just one sensor, depending upon what you're trying to achieve. There are two methods to collect data. You can either log data and save it as a MAT file or stream data to MATLAB. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to log the data and access the collected data. To calculate distance traveled, we are gonna collect latitudinal and longitudinal information. There's actually a very nice walking path around the MathWorks campus, which is 0.25 miles and we're going to use that as, as a comparison. When you stop logging the data, you can save it as a MAT file and specify the file name. As I mentioned earlier, MATLAB Drive enables you to use this data either from your smartphone or, or your laptop. Since this data is being stored on MATLAB Drive, I actually want to use it on my laptop. So let's switch context. Here you can see my laptop and let's see what the data looks like. Since the data is being stored in MATLAB Drive, you can access it from your laptop or your desktop. All right, now let's use the Haversine formula to calculate total distance traveled. The distance calculated is approximately 0.27 miles, which is close to the physical distance that I mentioned earlier. Now you can imagine using this same analysis on a different data set, especially when you don't have access to your laptop. Since I used a script to run this analysis, I can reuse the script on my phone in this case, the same data to see what I get. And here you see, I get the same result. All right, let's step back and do something purely fun. You've probably seen geotagging filters on Snapchat. All right, so we're gonna do something similar. We're gonna use the latitude and longitudinal information that we collected in our data set previously and put it on top of the image that we took earlier. Let's recap what we learned. We learned how to acquire an image do some image processing. We also learn how to acquire position data and perform some analysis on it. 
If you would like to learn more about MATLAB Mobile, the different sensors that you have access to, or other concepts discussed in this video, then check the links in the description below. We are excited to learn how you are going to use MATLAB Mobile. Comment below.